Sunday morning. It's really early. July 22nd, I think. What time is it? 6.50 a.m. Not quite as early as some days I've gotten up this week. But we have a day of meetings ahead of us here in San Jose. And I have a pile of stuff I need to get rid of out at the curb. Some more stuff in the backyard I need to drag out. Yeah. So that's a thing. I'm letting the husband sleep in. He hurt his back again. <coughs> he wasn't doing anything in particular. Literally just reaching down to pick something up off the floor. It's not a good sign. <laughs> anyway, I think that's it for the moment. I can't think of anything else right now. I'll be back. Sunday morning. So I've got this pile of stuff out here. Where is it? There it is. I've got to make go away. So it's already at the curb. I need to take some pictures and post it on nextdoor.com. Hopefully by the end of the day, that whole pile is gone. Cross your fingers. Okay, our morning business meeting is over. And a bunch of phone calls we needed to make, over. We have a bunch of stuff we're giving away at the curb. And now we're gonna go head out to go arrange for new flooring for this house, finally after 26 years. Because the flooring is really bad. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so we're going to go do that and arrange for that to happen probably in September. And then I think I just want to come home and chill. I think I'm done for crazy. I'm also trying to get all the laundry done because we're painting the laundry room tomorrow. And I have to have everything out of the way. So, yeah, it's just going to be a day. All right. I'll be back. Good morning everybody. It is blasting hot again. So I know you can hear the air conditioner. It's almost 80 degrees um, before 10 a.m. this morning. <laughs> Just, oh uh, yeah, yeah. I, anyway, I In 400 feet, turn right on to Muscat Drive, then yeah. turn right. I have a doctor's appointment this morning, so I am trying to get out of my driveway without smacking my car into anything a truck in one side and a planter box on the other side and it's going to be challenging. Good Monday morning everybody. It is Monday morning July 23rd. Don't get excited. I only know that because I have my doctor's appointment. It's actually nothing. It's wrong. It's just a standard mammogram boob squishing type appointment. <laughs> so we're going to go do our due diligence and have our annual checkup and get that over with and then I have to go to the store pick up some snacks and I've got to figure out what I'm going to do for dinner more scrounging around in the freezer although I think I have an idea that we'll use up some freezer and some pantry stuff and I think that's a good thing and if you hear whispering in the background it's my navigation app so anyway because Jeeves is trying to tell me where to go Again, yeah, that's a thing. I get lost a lot. I've already edited last week's Turn vlog right this morning. It's time. rendering and saving right now. And I will get that scheduled for Wednesday morning again. I am going to try to do them on Wednesdays every day from now on in case you haven't noticed. And um, yeah. In one mile, so keep left on two for the moment. I'll be back. North. Good morning everybody. It is 7.25 in the morning, Tuesday, July 24th. Don't get excited. I'm looking at the iPad. <laughs> um, more workmen are coming over this morning to do some more things. I think today's a shorter day than we've had with them in the house. There's not as much to do. They're going to finish painting the laundry room and doing some work in there and there's some um, 
I told you all that there's a chip in the hall bathroom toilet enamel, so they're going to try to fix it. If it doesn't pass muster, they're going to have to replace the toilet. So, yeah. Um, I've got Etsy order stuff to do to take care of this morning. I want to try to get that done here after I'm done filming this. And um, I have to go uh, fax some documents this morning, yes, an old-fashioned fax, so I need to go over to the place where I pick up my mail because they do faxing there. Um, I want to get the Etsy orders done so that I can drop them off while I'm there. Um, and I want to try to get all that done before the workers come so that I can, after they get here, I can go run and do that really quick. I think that's it. I can't think of anything else at the moment, but I haven't had all my coffee yet, so give me five minutes. All right, I'll be back. morning everyone it's Wednesday morning July 25th and of course I've already been up for a while I'm still not sleeping well yeah you know the usual um, the handyman's been and gone this morning he was only here for a little bit to touch up a couple more things and of course get paid um, and I've already had a barrage of business phone calls and um, computer work to do and sort of that sort of thing um, my friend Shannon Green came out with some new stuff for her custom keepers this morning. I'll link her Etsy shop in the description below. Go check it out. She's got some brand new um, notebook inserts and pocket inserts for her custom keepers that are super fabulous. And she's coming out with a plain white custom keeper. It's a little bit thinner, but it's great for painting and drawing on. And she's got some exa examples in a video that she just did that were done by some friends of mine, uh, Peg Robinson, uh, Vicki Brown and Cindy Utter. So I will link the video um, that I saw this morning for that and then also in the description below. So go check it out. And um, I've got some errands to run and stuff to do. And yeah, anyway, at least my today is going to be a stressful day. And I, I may or may not put it in the vlog. I don't know right now. If I do, you'll understand. If I don't, I, I apologize in advance. But it, today's not going to be a fun necessarily a fun day. It's going to be stressful for me. Um, that being said, at least there's no people in my house um, for a change. I just, you know, I like the peace and quiet. I need it to chill. I need it to relax and I need it to de-stress. When you have anxiety disorder and you're unmedicated, you just can only handle so much, even with medication. So those of you who have it know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and as of yet, I am unmedicated, but that may be changing soon. Anyway, um, that's it for the moment. I'll check back in with you in a okay, bit. Guys, this is the clip I may cut out of the vlog. I don't know yet. It might depend on how things turn out. So fun fact, I had a mammogram on Monday and, um, I think I said already that there was either, uh, and I may not, if I don't know now, my anxiety is off the charts. I have uh, uh, now am officially on a low dose of lorazepam as needed. I uh, haven't taken any yet because not supposed to drive when you're taking it. Um, anyway, I had a mammogram on Monday and the breast tissue in the right breast um, was, and I quote, dense and they need to get a better image. It's probably nothing. They think it's probably a cyst, but yeah, that doesn't make it any less stressful. So I'm back. I'm sitting in the parking lot right now and I'm going to go upstairs in a minute and hurry up and wait basically because they squeezed me in between other appointments because I explained to them I have anxiety issues and after multiple phone calls from me and my doctor um, they decided to not make me wait a week um, and to come in today that I could come in today. Now just the fact that they said that I could come in next week for the retest means that they probably don't put a high priority on it being something dangerous because it wouldn't make you wait a week um, necessarily um, from what I understand. So anyway, yeah, because I just needed one more thing on my plate. <laughs> All right, let's go see what's up and I will be back. So honestly, if it had been bad, I don't know if I could be vlogging about this, to be really honest and straightforward with y'all, but it's a water pocket, a very small one. 
So this is a lesson to y'all and get your mammograms, do your self checks. I didn't and can't feel this on my self checks. So if it wasn't for getting my annual mammogram, I wouldn't have even known it was there. Thankfully it's nothing, but it could have been something. So get your checks. All right. That's one big stress off my plate. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go, I have to make a couple phone calls now to tell my husband and daughter what happened and that the results are clear. And then I need to get something for dinner because we absolutely have hardly any food now. So that's it for the moment, I'll be back. I do want to add one more thing for you gentlemen out there. You do have your own set of annual private parts checks you're supposed to be getting once a year. It's not just the women out there. I know lots of men in my life who have had issues with lumps and tumors in their privates and prostate issues and whatever. Get your annual checkups. Better to catch it early than late. Yep. Yeah. All right, lecture's over for the day. I'm gonna go buy some dinner. Hey guys, good morning. It is Thursday morning, um, July 26th. I'm sitting in front of the computer, so I'm booting everything up so I can do my daily postings and everything. I have a day this week where there's no workmen here, and I finally got a night's sleep because I didn't have to worry about the mammogram thing. <laughs> so anyway, a nice, quiet day to just chill. Maybe actually get some art done. You think? That might be nice. All right, I'm gonna get going, get dressed, put some actual clothes on, and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm dressed and showered. Obviously my hair is wet. I kind of don't know what to do with myself this morning because for the last few weeks, weeks literally, not days, weeks, I've had meetings, financial paperwork, workmen, like something, right? And I finally have a quiet day and it's weird. Is it just me? I don't really have any errands to run, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm not busy enough. I should go somewhere and do something. I don't know. It's weird. I'll I promised the husband I would water the potted plants in the front yard before I did anything else today and I forgot. Don't tell him, okay? I'm going to do it now. Got myself out of the house for a little bit. Um, I mailed my daughter a few things that she forgot when she moved. And yeah, I don't really have anything else to do. I'm sick of packing boxes. I think I'm going to just go home and have lunch and then try to catch up on um, daily drawing or something. I might pack a few boxes later, but I think I'm just going to take a break this morning. So, anyway, that's it for now. I'll be back. Good morning. It is 8.43 a.m. and it's already 70 degrees outside. <laughs> it's going to be warm again. Uh, yeah, it could be worse. I could be in Texas where it's, where it's probably already like 90 plus, right? Or Arizona. Anyway, it is Friday morning, July, I almost said June. Um, I think it's July 27th. Pretty, pretty sure, even though I really haven't paid any attention this morning. So the drywall guys are early by like half an hour, no, more than that, 40 minutes. Um, so anyway, that just means I'll get done early, right? My husband is home, thankfully, and so he's going to take care of chatting with them and paying them and all that jazz, hopefully. So anyway, 
going to be another eventful day, but I am glad to have had a break yesterday where it wasn't that I didn't have things to do, but I um, didn't have workmen in the house. So that was pretty handy to just have that mental break. And you know, I have to say, they showed up early and my husband is texting me. I have only gone two blocks in the car and I've had to pull over twice to answer text messages. <laughs> I just think it's a good thing I had a break yesterday. Today's gonna be one of those kind of days. <laughs> Lord almighty. Okay, we're out of coffee creamer, which is bad, people. That's really bad. And I need more bubble wrap because I've got more fragile stuff I've got to get out of people's way and um, yeah, it's got any bubble wrap. So anyway, um, I thought I just did this last year and I wasn't going to have to do it again for a while. I was wrong. All right, let's go run some errands and I'll be back. See flashing lights up ahead. That can't be good. And a car turned sideways. Hope everybody's okay. I should say that the other thing that's helped my mood today is I've had pretty bad insomnia going on three weeks now and the last few days of that time period I got almost no sleep. In fact one night I don't think I slept hardly at all. And the last two nights, last night and the night before, while I didn't sleep great and I did not sleep straight through, I did get a lot more sleep than I've been getting. So that has helped. Um, that's probably the one symptom of menopause that actually makes me completely crazy. And of course the anxiety disorder doesn't help because it already makes you stressed out, anxious and on edge anyway, which isn't conducive to good sleep. <laughs> um, and then you factor menopause in and that just doesn't help at all. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so, but I got two nights of, you know, better sleep. So my mood is much better today. I also got a little bit of art done yesterday, so that's all good. I'm thinking I'm going to sit and sketch this afternoon while the workmen are doing some more interior work on the house. Um, we've got another bedroom that's getting some drywall repair. Our house was built 49 years ago in 1969, so, you know, it needs some maintenance. All right, that's it for the moment. Let's go to Lowe's and buy some bubble wrap. Saturday morning everybody. It's Saturday morning July 28th. Don't get excited. I'm at the computer. That's the only reason I know and it is 8 24 a.m. I'm supposed to be on the way to the Red Cross to donate blood. Uh, my husband went and I not only woke up feeling asthma-y. Is that a thing? Um, I'm just not up to being poked at today to be honest. So I am opting to stay home. He's going to run a couple of errands too on his way back and I'm going to stay here and work on laundry. Exciting. I know. Um, we're taking the dog into a vet appointment, which terrifies me because he is getting older and every time we take him in for something, I worry that's going to be the last time. So I hate to say that out loud, but there you have it. So I'll let y'all know what happens. Poor Mr. Bandit. He's not getting any younger and I think he's almost completely blind. So yeah, that's a thing. All right, that's it for the moment. I'm going to finish my coffee and I'll be back. Hey, Pooch. Say hey, Bandit. What's up, Pooch? So mm -hmm. Mr. Bandit had his checkup. He's old and cranky, but he should be able to be around for quite a while yet. He just needs a little medication help. So Don't we it's, all? All, it's all good, right? Exactly. We all need medication help. Exactly. And he's actually not doing too badly riding in the car, which is not his favorite thing to do. Hmm. So at first we see these vintage motorcycles on the road, which is pretty cool, right there. But a little while ago we saw the black one try to pop a sidecar wheeling, because that's really smart to do. Bunch of freaking idiots. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so we've had an eventful week, an eventful Saturday. Um, thankfully, Mr. Bandit's going to be with us a bit longer, and yeah, we're happy for that. We just sat home the rest of the day and had pizza for dinner, um, had a meeting here at the house with somebody, um, otherwise just tried to chill and relax. It's been a crazy, hectic, stressful week. Anyway, we hope you've all had a good one and that you continue to have good ones. And um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments here on the video. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that little bell icon uh, if you want notifications for new videos. I do have a new series that will be coming out soon. Uh, I have to edit it. Um, it will be coming out sometime in mid-August, I think, uh, mid to late August. And um, it's a vlog-style series, so anyway, not art again. But there are art videos coming, never fear. Um, that's it for the moment, I think. There's a lot going on. I Again, short, you'll be, some of it will be explained shortly. And um, yeah, have a great week, everybody. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.